you know, am I the only one that doesn't think having a joint replacement is, you know, not the worst thing that can happen to you? I think, Mark, there's, I'd I think rather there's have a two, joint replacement than a stroke. I think there's two responses, aren't there? Number one is um, uh, some people don't want a joint replacement. So that's number one. So yes, it's largely a good operation. But secondly, your risks of a revision procedure are very much related to your age when you have your first procedure. So um, if you're 50 and have a joint replacement, your chances of revision surgery are very, very high. And that revision surgery is not cost effective and comes with disastrous patient outcomes. Okay. And, so you know, so um, if you're over 65 getting a hip or 70 getting a hip these days, that's, that is a good outcome. But I think is your point what trying to avoid TJR is, a, is, a, is not necessarily a good thing. Was that your point? Yes, I think that's, that's my point. Yeah. Um, you know, we consider, we consider TJR here as a serious adverse event because you need to be hospitalized for it in a trial. Uh, and that's how it was picked up in Cantos. Uh, yeah, no, no, I, I would not be seeing it as a serious adverse event. I'd be seeing it as a serious event in a person's life, not a necessarily an adverse event. But, right. but it's, so if, it's a big event. Yeah, so if, if Ms. Rosado, instead of being a young woman, was an old woman, okay, or an old man, um, or an old person, okay, then having a joint replacement, if you're willing to undergo the joint replacement and you otherwise uh, do not disqualify yourself based on the presence of comorbid conditions, it's not the worst thing in the world. No. Your analgesic therapy uh, has not been efficacious over time. I would- But it is, it is a marker that you've reached that stage of quality of life where you've had enough. That's generally, when we talk to patients, that's, that's what they're saying to us. They're saying, it's, uh, I say to them, it's not your pain score, it's not your x-ray, it's how much is it impacting your life? And that's, that's when people suddenly decide to, to make this change to have the joint replacement, I think. So right. I think it's so, a marker of, of a bad event or a big event not an adverse event, but I think you're right. But I, I don't think having it as an endpoint or part of an endpoint is a bad thing because you would hope people are, you know, a good therapy would make you, I, there's not many people want to run into a joint replacement. And, and if you had a redu reduction in joint replacement endpoints, I would have thought that still means patients are happy to stay in where they're at without having to undergo surgery.